question from the audience? Sure. This discrimination on the basis of gender expression is currently, currently permitted under Wisconsin law, which has prompted some communities in the district to consider ordinances uh, on the local level. What would you do, if anything, to protect transgender people at work and at school? Thank you. We'll start with Andre and then go to Caleb. So, talking about gender identity, which largely has been something where it's based on a, a self-proclamation. It's not based on uh, a biological indicator or anything other than essentially, I mean, we've heard about how gender expression can switch among many, many multiple types of genders. Uh, it's the sort of thing where there have been concerns about uh, you know, the imposition on private businesses, on individuals who want safety when in a, a public place. Um, you know, it's something where, um, you know, I guess, uh, you know, what was the, the, the question was more specific to... What, what would you have to do, if anything, on the state level to uh, protect transgender people at work and school? Okay, uh, sure. I mean, I think that any time that you are engaging in conduct that is, you know, bullying or, I mean, something that, that crosses any sort of a, a legal line, certainly we need to have strong standards across the board. We need to go after perpetrators of abuse or uh, threats or violence. Um, but I also think that, you know, when you're talking about making sure that there is respect for religious expression as well. Um, I mean, I, I think what we have to do is, um, you know, have a, a, a standard where uh, we respect the rights of private businesses and, yeah. yeah I mean, I, I guess the, the, the challenge with talking about transgender or gender identity is the extent to which it's based on, you know, something that is self-stated as opposed to based on science. Thank you. Thanks, Andre. Caleb. Sure. Um, I would absolutely uh, put forth legislation to close that loophole. Um, again, as I mentioned, one of the reasons that I got involved in politics in the first place was um, having close friends in the LGBT community. And our LGBT youth attempt suicide at a rate four times higher than their straight peers. And 70% of them report hearing negative messages about their gender identity and their orientation from their elected officials. So those kind of loopholes and refusal to close them and co-sponsoring legislation to allow for businesses to discriminate against folks due to gender identity is extremely problematic for me and it's one of the reasons I got involved in politics in the first place and I'll be a strong LGBT champion uh, until the day I die and hopefully uh, a strong ally uh, in the state senate of Wisconsin. Please hold your applause until the end. Thank you. Uh, 